Hello everybody, welcome to other video projects on Boy. So in the past couple of weeks, I've been working on building this base from scratch. The whole base is on top of water and uh, right above this railroad bridge. Uh, it's really beneficial uh, to be on top of water because uh, you almost always know where the zombies gonna be coming from through the bridge. <laughs> because you know, zombies are not Jesus, they cannot walk on water. Another thing is you can also get unlimited food supply just from fishing. Uh, you can fish with a fishing rod or just using a spear as well. And another thing, the location is really good because uh, there's plenty of forest for forging. So this might not look at it, but before right here, all those areas are covered in dense forest like over here. Uh, but I had to cut them down to build this base. But across the bridge over there, there's plenty of forest. Uh, I'll start with the location on the base. So the base is located near uh, West Point. So here's a map of West Point. Uh, my base is located right here on top of the railroad bridge. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with West Point, uh, this is the West Point gun store. Uh, I think this is the West Point police station. Yep. Uh, over here is a self storage lot, uh, which could come handy because you gonna need some building supply from there, industrial loot. Uh, if you have the West Point expansion mod, so this base will be in a better location. So the base is right here on the bridge. Uh, right here is a diner, a bunch of uh, stores, and there's a bookstore right here. Uh, right here is a big uh, apartment complex. You can get a lot of furniture from there. Uh, I looted like so many furniture from those area uh, to build this base. And jumping back to the base tour itself, I will start from the base floor. So I start building the whole place from. I guess the first step I did was uh, placing down the double door and also a log wall. So this essentially cuts off the zombie uh, because there's only way in and out on the both sides of the bridge. So I did the same thing on the other side. So that's the first step to secure the bridge itself. Now the second step, I knocked down the one of the panels on each side using a sledgehammer. So on this side, I build a little like a fishing dock. Uh, I have my fishing supply in this quid and can do my fishing right here. Uh, in the middle of the bridge, I use it more like a parking garage, but you can use it for storage or any way you like. On the other side of the base right here, uh, I built a little deck above the water. Uh, I was gonna use this area for outdoor farming, but I kind of messed up because when I built the second floor, the second floor is right on top of this area, but it just cuts off the rainwater. Uh, I could make it do by using bucket and scooping water from the river, but I'm just too lazy for that. So I end up turning this area into a storage area. So I have all my building supply planks and the uh, furniture and all the other stuff right here. I have my generator set up right here, material for generator, light balls. I have a little relaxing corner with barbecue, a couch, arcade machine, tray mills. Oh, one thing you want to be careful when building those uh, deck on the water level. So whenever you place a wooden floor on the ground level, once you place it on the wooden floor, it cannot be destroyed or replaced or picked up. So you want to be really careful. Plan out the area where you want to build first before you place it down anything. Because let's say if you place a tile right here and you cannot destroy it, then it defeats the whole purpose. Shit, that gunshot scared me. It defeats the whole purpose of building a water because it'll be connected and zombie can just walk through here. So make sure your deck is away from the side of the line away from the line and uh, make sure you plan before you build because once you place it on the floor on the ground level it cannot be destroyed now moving down moving up to the second level I have a staircase right here leads up to my second level which is my main base over here is my kitchen and the uh, slash living room I don't have all my essential stuff uh, down here up here everything storage wise they're all downstairs and my crafting supply guns 
a little radio station set up right here. Got my brick oven, uh, kitchen counter, sink, and my refrigerator. So I actually got this refrigerator from the uh, diner right over here. So this is an industrial sized refrigerator. It's pretty heavy. I think it's four, 40 unit weight. So I actually end up having to unload everything to carry this back. Uh, but you can always use the regular fridge. Uh, as for furniture, I got all this kitchen counter from the apartment complex that way. And uh, it's great because uh, they all have a bunch of kitchen counter in there and they are the same color. You can also pick up sink uh, using a wrench. I also pick up the curtain from the apartment complex as well. Oh, also, once you reach level 1 electrician, you can also pick up lamps or uh, like any outside lighting uh, from houses. Uh, over here is my bedroom. I mean, bathroom. So I have my toilet, uh, sink, little mirror, and lighting. And over here, the bathroom is also connected to my bedroom. And this is where I'll be sleeping. I have a little TV setup, and also my wall lamp I pick up on some houses. I also have an escape row uh, set up across the base. So just in case of event, let's say my first floor get swarmed by zombie and I, there's no way fighting back and I want to hold in the back I can make my escape through this escape brawl and also this one by the bathroom right here uh, as a last resort I also build up this uh, emergency escape rod so pretty much it just uh, deck extend all the way above to the main row main bridge uh, at the end I build up a window and attach uh, escape row to the window so uh, basically let's see if any zombie any horde come by my base and breach through my first level of defense I can always escape this way because they're always going to be focusing in the railroad bridge uh, I'll be relatively safe on this way then I can make my escape either back to the base or to the other way and uh, to build an escape row you just need some nail and rope, she ropes and you can right click and click the option to add a skip rope. So to get she ropes, uh, you can just tear uh, clothes from zombies. Uh, you can this option to craft into escape rope. Let me show you guys really quick since I happen to have a bunch of uh, zombie body right out here. So for example, right click on the t-shirt, craft the escape rope. and go to the surf floor this is where my rooftop farming is so uh, I have fence all around just in case I I'm being clumsy and falls off the roof and die that's the worst way to go happen way too often and for those you don't know uh, you can use a sack and shovel then you can pick up dirt and move them to on top of ro roof or like even indoor if you're willing to water them every day then you can place down the dirt and do your farming safely on top of the building uh, on this floor on my roof I also have my uh, lampo, light pole set up right here so I can see in the dark just in case I want to do any farming in the dark I have two water collection barrel over here combo spin so the two water collection barrels, they're hooked up to the sink in the kitchen and the sink in the bathroom. So you just need to put it on one floor above the sink you want to connect it to. Then if you have a wrench, you can do plumbing to connect them to the sink and the water barrel. And uh, oh, some of you guys might ask, how do I get the color of the wall printed? So, because whenever you build a new wall, it's gonna look like the outside of my house, just brown wood color. So, to paint your wall, first you need to plaster the wall. So, let me show you. What you need is an uh, uh, empty bucket, and a bag of plaster powder, and a paintbrush, and also water source. So, you need to fill the, wa uh, fill the bucket with water. Then keep the plaster powder and bucket and paintbrush in inventory. In your inventory. Then this way, you can. There should be option to when you right click on the bucket or the bag of plaster powder to make a bucket of uh, plaster. 
and once you have that and the paintbrush, you can right click on the wall you want to paint. There will be option to plaster the wall, and once you done that, the wall will be in this color, this rice yellow color right here, and. Uh, then you can grab a paint bucket of the color of your choice and also paintbrush. Then you can paint the whole house to any color you like. And the the bags of plastic powder is uh, kind of rare. Uh, I only found them in the warehouse area or in any industrial loot area. So if you have the West Point uh, expansion, there's a really good area to look over here. Self storage, a uh, big warehouse right here. Uh, also here as well. Uh, if you don't, uh, the self-storage law in West Point right here. Uh, also, this little warehouse could be a good place to look. And if you got sledgehammer, you can always knock, knock down this area. There's some additional loot, industrial loot. Uh, this is pretty much uh, the base tour. Uh, hope you guys like this base. It certainly took me a long time to build the whole thing. And uh, it's definitely nice to have zombie manageable zombie who are coming only from one way and easy escape route and also the unlimited food source and uh, they're really good food source too because fish is uh, considered protein and uh, for those you don't know uh, if you eat protein it gives you any a bonus for strength workout so let's say if you do push up uh, for your character you actually level faster if you have enough protein as a food that's a Pandium area forging across from the, from the bridge. And that's pretty much on my base tour video. Uh, please like the video and subscribe subscribe to my channel if you like to see more Project Zomboy content. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or you'd like to see any specific content. Uh, leave a comment and I'll make sure to take a look into it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Have a good one.